You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Well, here it is. This is what we've all been waiting for. The Jackery Explorer 1000. Tell you what, this is a game changer right here. Especially, especially for us people that are in small trailers, van life type situations, and such as that. Real quick, I'm going to go over the, the specs on this thing. Uh, you can look them up anywhere you want. There's already a bunch of videos out there in this regard, but I do have a secret that I'm going to tell you near the end. Stick with me here. Let's go over these details. I got them written down here real quick. Uh, peak capacity, okay. 1,002 watt hours, okay. Jackery advertises this, or in their de in their uh, literature, it says that it is a 46.4 uh, amp hour. Now, us in the RV community, no amp hours, okay. Everybody's familiar with the Battleborn amp hours, okay. Battleborn 100 amp hour battery is the battery of choice. You know what? For some reason, Jackery uses 21.6 volts as their rating for their 46.4 amp hour rating on the batteries in this. Everybody else, including Battleborn, uses 12 volts, okay? If I use 12 volts, as the standard on this unit right here, at 12 volts, this actually comes up to 83 and a half amp hours. So you're just, you know, 16 and a half amp hours short from a 100 amp hour Battleborn battery. Bingo, right here. Uh, cell chemistry on this is lithium ion NMC, which uh, rates at 500 plus recharge cycles. Now that's full recharge cycles. If you take it down to zero, bring it back up to 100%, take it down to zero, bring it back up to 100%, they guarantee you 500 cycles. You're not gonna do that. Don't do that, I'm just saying. If you take it down to 50%, bring it back up. I don't see myself using anywhere near 50% of this in a day. But if you take it down to 50%, bring it back up, take it down to 50%, bring it back up, you're gonna get many, many more, twice, three times as many recharges, okay? And that recharge down to, uh, and they're saying the 500 cycles means at 500 cycles, you're probably gonna get 80% capacity, which would uh, give you, a, still, you're gonna have like 60 something amp hours out of this, even at that, but that's, years down the road, even with daily use, okay? Uh, and you can still use it after that for years, okay? That's the life cycle. Next, uh, shelf life. Well, you need to recharge it every three to six months if it just sits on the shelf not used, okay? Go ahead and recharge it. That's just to keep the batteries up to snuff. It's not gonna cause that much damage if you don't, but it's best if you do. Uh, it's got a management system built in this thing, BMS. It's got low voltage protection, high voltage protection, short circuit protection, over voltage protection. It's got all the protections that everybody's looking for, okay? Uh, Will Proust, Will Prouse will tell you about low voltage, high voltage, low current, I mean, low temperature, high temperature. That's built in here also. If you take it out into 20 degree below weather, this thing gets too cold, okay? If you try to use it at 20 degrees below, you're going to damage it, okay? Slightly. Not a lot. Well, some. But you don't want to do that. Uh, this won't let you do that, okay? It knows if it gets too cold, it won't let you charge, it won't let you discharge, okay? Uh, weight, 22 pounds. And I'll talk to you about that in a second, how that's ad advantageous to me anyway. Uh, charging or in yeah charging inputs okay you've got 
up here. Let me tip this a second. Okay. You've got an eight millimeter DC input right here. It comes with a charging adapter that'll plug into this, that plugs into your car, cigarette, lighter, charger, whatever. You're gonna get, uh, with that, you're gonna get, ooh, doo, 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 doo. I think 10 amps max charge rate. Okay, but you also right here have Anderson connectors where you would connect solar panels. One to two solar panels, okay? You can put two 100 watt solar panels in here. They must be connected in parallel and you'll get your maximum charge rate with that through there because this does have an, an MPPT type charger built in, which is a big plus, okay? You got three 110 volt sockets down here. You can get 1000 watts, okay? Continuous 2000 watt surge. That gives, a, that's another big plus. I'll show you later. Uh, now, you can use all three of them, but still add them all up and you're only gonna get a thousand watts continuous rating. Uh, that car type input, I was right, it's 10 amps, okay? Uh, you've got outputs, you've got two USB-C outputs, you've got two USB-A outputs, and one of those is a quick charge 3.0, okay? Uh, now, quick charge, for me, that's going to work wonderful because I've got a Samsung phone. If you've got a Samsung phone or other phones that use a quick charge capability, I think the iPods also, or the I, iPhones also do that. It's wonderful to have that input. Also, the, the, uh, you can use the USB-C and get about the same charge out of that. Uh, LCD screen, nice LCD screen. It shows you the input and output wattage. Tells you how many watts you're putting out, how many watts you're putting in. Now, this thing can be charged and discharged at the same time. You can be using it while you're charging it. That's a plus, a big plus. Uh, besides showing you the, the uh, input and output wattage, it's also going to show you the percentage from 100 down to 1% percentage rating of your battery charge instead of just the little LCDs uh, segments that go out you've got you've got that in the middle here with the five segments you can look real quick and see uh, approximately where it is but you've got a percentage rating over here that tells you exactly exactly where you are as far as discharge charge times okay how long does it take to charge this thing a thousand watts uh, you're looking at with your AC adapter that comes with that, seven hours to charge it from zero to 100%. To use the DC input, the little circle over here, the eight millimeter, your, your cigarette lighter charger, you're gonna take 14 hours to charge it, okay? If you're driving around, plug it in, you're gonna get a, a bit of a charge. Hopefully you're not taking it down to zero anyway. That would be zero to 100%. You're looking at 14 hours. Now your solar, okay, two options there. Let's say you're using one, with one 100 watt solar panel, it's gonna take 17 hours to charge. With two 100 watt solar panels, you're gonna charge in eight hours, okay? That's zero to 100%. If you only take it down to 50%, you're looking at five hours, you can charge it in a day, okay? And actually, you could, you, on a sunny day, you can charge it and use it at the same time, and you're still gonna get it fully charged by the end of the day. Even in a low light situation, you're still gonna get a fair charge because it is in PPT. It's gonna squeeze every bit of charge it can get. Uh, now, this uh, Anderson input, here it did not come with a cable but and uh, Jackery has sent me a, um, an email saying that everybody who purchases one of these is going to get an Anderson cable that allows you to connect up to two 
Solar Saga 100 watt panels. Okay, the Solar Saga panels are very expensive, $300 each. Now you can get discounts right now uh, if you order now, but you can't order now. They're out of stock. So are these, but they'll be coming back in stock real soon. Uh, now I don't, well, I have regular solar panels on top of my Cracker Box Palace out there. It's got two 100 watt solar panels on it. All I had to do was buy an MC4 to Anderson connector to plug that directly in, to plug my solar panels that are already mounted out there, plug directly into this. It does fit on my second shelf perfectly. Works wonders for me. Um, two year warranty. Okay. Now a couple of things about my situation. Okay. Right now I'm using two 35 amp hour batteries. AGM type batteries. They're 22 pounds each. Okay. I'm using two of those and using two of those you can only discharge an AGM battery down to 50%. So with two of those 35 amp hour batteries, I'm only getting 35 amp hours of usable battery life at 44 pounds of batteries, which are in my front box out there, taking up a lot of room, two big batteries, plus they're in cases, okay? This is the weight of one of those batteries. I get 80, 85 amp hours. Sweet, sweet. Uh, this I'm planning on replacing my whole solar setup except for the panels. The panels are staying up there. But the batteries are coming out of my box up front. My solar charge controller is just a regular PWM charge controller. This already has a charge controller built in. That can go. Batteries can go. I've got my whole front box to reload. Plus I'm taking weight off my front tongue on the uh, runaways. You're only uh, supposed to have a maximum of 100 pounds up there. When you're throwing 44 pounds to start with with just batteries, then that doesn't leave a lot of room. Well, this isn't going to go on the tongue. It's going inside on the shelf. Um, warranty. You got a two-year warranty. I think I already told you that. Uh, let's see what else I got to talk about here. It's portable. Okay. If I'm going to be needing power away from my uh, trailer. I can tote this with me. Now, I've got a Bowdens, a smaller one. I've got a bunch of tiny ones. But if I need something with uh, a lot of power that I, want, that I want to last a long time, I can take this with me. It's only 22 pounds. I can pick it up and haul it up. It's easy, easy. Uh, oh, yeah. One more thing, don't forget this. Hobotech mentioned this one. Guess what? <coughs> this, oh, <coughs> it's a wonderful 22 pound flashlight. <laughs> Doesn't everybody want one of those? Uh, now, stay tuned for the surprise. This is something that everybody's been looking for and wondering about. Here it comes. Here it is. Jackery 1000. Here we go. Test of all tests. Plugged in. AC's on. 100% charge. Alright. Let's see what happens here. About to go power on. On my AC.
the ultimate. The ultimate power backup.